In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple to-do list in Evernote. Okay, first you'll need to log into your Evernote account or sign up for an account if you don't have one yet. And you can find Evernote at evernote.com. And if this is your first time using it and you're signing up, I recommend just using this basic free plan for now. It's the one that I'm using and I've been using this one for the last few years. This is my to-do list that I have inside of Evernote. And it's a pretty simple to-do list. It's just basically made up of different sections. And then I have um, check boxes next to each of my to-do list items. So when I complete a task, I can just check it off. So all of these different sections are actually just tables with two rows. The top row has the column heading. The second row has the to-do list items with the check boxes. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to make one of these tables and I'll start by recreating this Monday through Friday table and I'll do that on a new note page. So to make a table you just need to go over here to insert table and then you'll get a table with two rows and two columns. Since I want five columns I'm just going to put my mouse over here until the plus comes up and then click on the plus sign a few times until I have my five columns. And then now I can type in the days of the week. As I type in each word, I'm pressing tab to get to the next column heading. And then now I have my basic table, but it's kind of plain and boring, so I'm going to fix it up a bit. First, I'll make the top row a different color by selecting the row and then pressing on this down arrow and selecting a different color. And then I want the words to stand out a bit more, so I'm going to make them a little bit larger, make them bold, and then I'll also finish up by centering the text. The last thing I want to do to format this table is to make it wider so it spans the width of this window. And I'll do that just by selecting the whole table. And I accidentally made another row, so if you do make a mistake, it's okay. You just go over here and click on the undo arrow and it undoes what you did. So let me try this again. I selected the whole table this time, and now I'm going to press this down arrow and select set to window width. Now that my table is finished, I'm going to go ahead and add in some to-do list items. Since I want check boxes, I'm going to go up here and click on this checklist button. And then now I have a check box. So now I can just start typing in my items. So first thing I do each day is most of my daily must do's and I went over these in my blog post and then I'll press enter and if you notice another checkbox automatically comes up and then I work on KDP most days and maybe sometimes I'll have a doctor's appointment or something to go to. And then when you finish entering your first set of to do's you can go ahead and copy and paste them over and this might be helpful if you tend to do the same thing every day like I do. Okay, now that the first table is finished, I want to go ahead and add in my title and my favorite quotes. So let me jump back over here. And here it says titles. So I can just click on that and enter a page title. And then I'll add in my quotes right over the table. So I'm just clicking over it. And then I'll type in better done, then perfect, and make the quote stand out a little bit more by making it much larger, a different color, and centering it. Okay, now I have the first table done with the title and the quote finished, so let me go back over here and see what I have next. So I have another table with five columns, so I'll go back over here, click down below where I want to start the table, and then go to insert table, Hover my mouse over here until the plus comes up, click it a few times, and then start typing in my column headings. So for this month, I like to list this month's important dates and appointments and also keep an eye on next month's dates. So I have a next month's column. And then I also need Saturday and Sunday. So now again, I'll format it. Um, since I have Monday through Friday in black up here, I'm going to go ahead and make Saturday and Sunday black by just highlighting 
those two column headings and changing the color to black. And then for these three, I'll just change it to a different color. And then next, I want to make the column heading stand out more like I did up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the whole row and then go up here and increase the font size, make it bold and center the text. Last but not least, I want to make the table wider again. So I'm just going to select the whole table and then go over here and select set to window width. And then now I can go ahead and start typing in my task list items. So for when I like to check my Etsy orders every day, I sell, sell on Amazon, so I need to reprice my inventory. And I'm starting to get into Pinterest, so I need to pin five products to Pinterest each day, and so on. And then again, you can just copy and paste or fill things out. And since I didn't put the checkboxes in, I can just go ahead and highlight it and click up here, and now I have my checkboxes. So that's it for the to-do list. Um, to make more tables, you just um, go ahead and follow those same steps. You make a table with two rows and as many columns as you like. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.